The iPad makes things more fun. Factoroo. Even job hunting. And in the proof corner comes this new Monster iPad app. Monster, the enormous job listing, searching, applying site, has launched a new iPad-specific app that adds that swipey, browsy experience the iPad is best at and adds in the possibility of a new job. Start at the job search page and look for your dream career. Once you've got a list of the vacancies, you can tap on one, reading the details, viewing where the office is on a map, saving it to your saved jobs folder, or even applying from within the app. To do this, you'll need to have uploaded or created your CV on the main Monster site, but once you've done that, the app lets you select which CV to send and write a personalised covering letter to send with it. You can save your searches and once you've opened an ad, swipe through from left to right. Sadly, it can't help you out in the interview stage and it won't do much for negotiating a kick-ass benefits package, but maybe that's due in version 2. How is it possible that you can wirelessly sync songs from iTunes to Android, but not the iPhone? How? It's incredible, and yet true. On the iPhone side, it's Apple's fault. On the Android side, it's the AirSync app that's made it possible. There are other apps available, at least one of which is free, but this is the first one I've seen that actually works. Download the AirSync app from the Android market, and then the free PC or Mac download called Double Twist. Double Twist will automatically scan your hard drive for songs, videos and podcasts. From there, you can use the computer interface to add songs to your device by dragging and dropping them the same way you would in iTunes. But because your devices are paired over Wi-Fi, there's no need for any horrid cables. It separates tracks by songs, artists, albums and playlists, as well as keeping podcasts and videos separately. You can also easily select any of the songs to use as a ringtone, which is a nice touch. It's a brilliant interface, but at £3.99, it's not cheap. But viewer, let me assure you, I've completed the hours of frustration, so you don't have to. If you want wireless syncing, stump up the cash. Some apps make sense instantly. Some have to wait their time before their true use becomes obvious. And then there are apps like Colour. Colour is an application waiting for a problem. It's really nicely designed and it fulfills its chosen remit well. It's just that that remit is very, very limited and pretty stupid. The idea is you create an ad hoc social network of people nearby and share photos with them. Presumably because they can't just open their eyes, look around and see all the things that are actually happening in real life. It's very good at working out who's near who and it displays new photos in an ever-expanding spiral. And that's pretty much it. No friend requests, no following, no nothing else. Next time you're out with friends, rather than talk and interact with them in person, get everyone to download colour and post pictures of what's happening. It's sure to enhance your understanding of your fellow humans and you'll go home with a greater common bond. Not a feeling of alienation and loss at all. It's the answer you don't really want to the question you're afraid to ask. Just how much is my caffeine stroke nicotine stroke Rioja addiction costing me? This app has the answer. Demotivate Me is simple. Stick in your vice, such as a grande skinny caramel latte, stick in how often you have one, such as every freaking weekday, and stick in how much you earn. Then watch as you find out that you're spending £832 a year on those cups of sugary syrup. The Savings and Results tab stores your searches, should temptation strike again, and bizarrely, you can email your results to an interested party. Now, watch in amazement as this new information makes absolutely no difference to your spending habits. Love Americans? Love news? Love video? Me too. So Newsy is the perfect app for you and me. Available on the iPhone, iPad and Android, it curates the big news stories into easy to swallow two minute videos, highlighting various sources around the world and their reactions. It looks best on the iPad thanks to the video friendly screen size and the UI on this is slightly different according to whether it's portrait or landscape. Landscape View allows you to swipe through the stories like you would on Coverflow, choosing whether you want to view all stories or just a specific category. 
From here, you can add videos to your playlist or download them to view later, where they'll sit in your library. When you start a playlist, you'll see a newsy presented video pulling out sources and highlights. These can be viewed firsthand by looking at the Sources tab, or you can view and add to comments, see the transcript, or share the video via email, Twitter, or Facebook. The stories are US-centric, as are the sources and obviously the presenters, but it's such an excellent integration of video and app, I wish we thought of it first. Want more? Go to www.fraculus.com forward slash follow for a glut of RSSE, iTunesy, podcasty, subscription -y options. <coughs>